Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I must apologise, it's all going a bit mental just before I came on air. But anyway, I hope everyone's all right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And uh, I'm very, very excited about this one, guys. Anyway, welcome. I'm Mitch. This is Unseen Universe. I'm all a fluster because I didn't know what I was doing to begin with. So uh, we'll just crack on. Welcome to everybody. And... Um, Yes, let's just get going, shall we? We'll just get my man on to help me out a little bit because I've lost the plot. Uh, it's my brothers in arm. It's my partner in crime. Helping me, helping you, helping everybody. It's Gavilar from Impossible Invert. Hey, oh. <laughs> oh, Gav. <laughs> you finished catching spiders? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, I, Gav. How's it going, mate? Hey, oh. <laughs> we uh, We had a few technical issues. I basically just lost the plot right before <laughs> I uh, came on live. So uh, welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Gav's here. I'm here. You're here. Who's in the chat? Gavilar. <laughs> Lots tonight. Lots today. Uh, we've yeah, we've got, we've got Marley Man. Marley Man. How's it going, James? You all right, buddy? Good to see you, my friend. We've got Rocky Man Woo! Spider Freaks. Rocky, how's it going, guys? I hope you're all all right. Good, good, good. Side X. Side X is in the house. Uh, that's uh, our Francis, a.k.a. the Inbet Kingdom UK. How's it going, buddy? Sophie from Lovable Spoods. Lovable Spoods, it's our Sophie. How's it going, Sophie? How's it going? Thank you so much, you guys, for tuning in. Who else we got? Come on. We've got Trisha Brown. Uh, oh, Trisha. How's it going, Trisha? Yeah. Nice to have you back in again. You see, I've got the name nailed now, dude, even though... Uh, We've got Mitch's mum. Oh, oh. We've got Mitch's mum. Who? Yeah. My mom. Yeah, Beryl Mitchell. Beryl Mitchell, Nee Evans. <laughs> That's my mother. Mother, how's it going? You're all right? Welcome, my mum. My mum's in the house. How's it going? And she's learned, she's figured out how she can uh, type and say stuff. So uh, there's my mum, look, with a go faster hairstyle. <laughs> there's my old mum. How's it going, mum? Thank you so much. She just popped in and thought she'd say hi. Hello. Thank you so much. There's my mum. You see, every time she pops in, she pops in. I feel guilty that I've not spoke to her for ages. <laughs> uh, Greg's in the house. Eight legs, four wheels. How's it going, Greg, my friend? I hope you're well. Good, good, good. Mandy Hewitt, how's it going, Mandy? Thank you. Sarah is in the house. How's it going, Sarah? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Micromantids, how's it going, Micromantids? We don't think we've still got a name for Micromantids. This uh, he or she pops in from time to time, so uh, we need a name. If you're going to keep popping in from time to time, we need to get to know who you are. So there you go. Sarah says, welcome. Hello to Mitch's mum. Thank you so much. Andy's in the house. I've just spotted spider spiders. Hello to me mum. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, it's all uh, it's all clean and tidy. Uh, it's after nine o'clock, mum. We are all well behaved, so uh, you don't need to worry about us. We're all, we're all doing well. So, uh, there we go. Everyone's saying hello to my mum. James is in the house. How's it going, James? You're all right, buddy? Uh, okay, so uh, Francis is showing off already. Stephanie, I'll be tall monitor. How's it going, Steph? Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, anybody else, dude? Anybody else? Are you, I think uh, that's it. I think I've got everyone. I think, that's about it. I think we might have everybody. I think that's it. Yeah, I can't see anybody else that we've got said hello to. So anyway, welcome everybody. We are, I'm hoping Jenny Gosling's going to pop in tonight. Not hanging around off the cookery program. <laughs> but, <laughs> hey, nice one, you it's just, it's, you know, cookery programs, man. It's like, go forth and cook. There's a, That's my mum. She doesn't need cookers. She's just watching them because she loves watching people. She likes, you know what it is? She likes to watch people do stuff so she can have a go at them for doing it wrong. That's what it is. <laughs> now, mum, thanks so much for saying hello. And uh, I love you. Take care. I'll speak to you soon. So uh, there you go. That's my mum. She's gone. So uh, right then, guys, 
let's uh, let's just get started, shall we? Because I want to get things. I like to try and get things wrapped up by eleven if I can. So I'm excited about this one, dude. With um, with a uh, I am too. we've got some Dinopis Aspectans, the net casting. So for the astute of you. That little gambit I did at the beginning. Did you? Uh, did you get it? Did you get? It? <laughs> did you get it? <laughs> it was stupid, wasn't it, Gav? It was stupid. No. <laughs> but that's what we're here for, man. That's yeah. what we're here for. And I just happened to have a Dinopis T-shirt that I made about three years ago. So there you go. It's my very own photo from my very first ever net casting spider that I had about four years ago, and um, I've not had one since. So I am super excited um, to uh, to have got hold of my son. So I have to thank our Jenny from uh, from the uh, Spider International Group and um, True Spiders International Group, I should say. Um, and that's Jenny. Uh, she uh, she kindly um, put all these aside for me. I've actually got forty coming, but I've got twenty for tonight, and uh, I'm just going to rehouse twenty so far. And um, yeah, I'm really excited. So this is the Dinopis Aspectans. They are young slings, so I don't know, I don't know how good a uh, macro we're going to get of these because it just depends. They they can be quite lively, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, what does Poppy want? Poppy wants in the beard. Oh. In the beard. <laughs> if Poppy wants a spider, Poppy gets a spider. So we'll sort, we'll sort, we'll sort Poppy out. Don't we worry about that. <laughs> Oh, hang on. She says no. <laughs> so uh, there you go. So we've got 20. And that oh, link on the screen now is Jennifer's tarantulas. Right. Uh, do you know what? I didn't have time to... Uh, I didn't have time to... Uh, Jennifer's tarantulas? Is that Jenny? The Jenny from... Who I've got these two spots. Yeah, Jenny, Jenny Goslin. Ah, oh, do you know what? Because I meant to message her and, 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 and ask her for uh, links and stuff, and I completely forgot. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Gab's on it. That's why. This is why I'm paying Gab the big bucks, man, <laughs> to uh, to get on top of these things. I'm just in too busy, man. I've got things to do, you know. So, uh, so yeah. There you go. It. That is Jenny's. Jenny, where is it? Jenny's tarantulas. Jennifer's tarantulas. Jennifer's tarantulas. Jennifer's tarantulas. You know what? There you go. Jennifer's tarantulas. I'm not even a subscriber yet. I feel really bad. I didn't even. I wasn't even. I knew she'd got something going on, but I just didn't have time. We're both moderators on the. Well, actually, she's she's a she's a uh, admin now um, on the uh, True Spider International group. So if you're into your True Spiders, guys, get over to the True Spider International group um, and um, and get over there because that is where all the action's taking place, where all the True Spiders are going on. I'm a moderator in that group. Jenny, who I got these um, these slings from, she is a uh, admin in that group. She knows her stuff, and this link that you can see on the screen now, that is her YouTube channel, Jennifer's Tarantulas. So there you go. And um, you should get over there, check her out. I need to go over there, check her out. I'm gonna big her up anyway, because uh, she was very, very kind enough to sort me out with all these um, all these slings. And uh, I've just got 20 for tonight, and I've got another 20 coming another time. So, uh, there you go. Michelle King is... Spooky Nooks is in the house. How's it going, Dawn? You okay? Good, good, good. Good, good. Good to have you. And Claire is in the house. Hi, Claire. Greg. There you go. How's it going, Claire? Welcome, welcome. We'll get started in a sec. Uh, and then there's Michelle... Oh, you see, I'm feeling bad already because this... Uh, this... Oh, dear. You see, I'm feeling bad because somebody asked me ages ago for some photos of my ghost... Uh, mantis enclosures and i've still not sorted it out man that's, that's how lame i am anyway i promise i will sort you out i really really will i'll make it my first priority tomorrow wendy how's it going wendy how welcome welcome right let's just get started shall we i'm going to bring up the big fish and i'm going to show you what i am putting the aspectin in so Let's have a little talk about the aspectins before we get started, shall we? This is the little enclosure that I'm putting them in. It is just a slush, slush container, slush thing, slush pot. <laughs> and, and this is what from some place these are available on eBay. <laughs> there you go. So basically, 
this is the setup I'm going for, guys. And the reason I'm uh, going for a setup like this is because um, I have read that they do like a little bit of cross ventilation and uh, and things like that. I think a lot of people do put them in. Um, they do put them in mesh enclosures, but um, in my experience, I I'm always a little bit concerned about. Um, a lack of humidity in a ventilated enclosure when it comes to true spiders because they do dry out quite quickly they're very small bodies and especially when they're slings like this so you have to be a little bit careful about um, having too much ventilation and not enough humidity so so we like to uh, we like to put our true spiders a lot of our true spiders in these containers don't we Gav? because they hold the moisture really really well and uh, they're really really clear you can see that is really really clear so i've basically um i've basically made up 20 of these and the idea is is that because obviously when you saw my amazing impression of a net casting spider uh, at the beginning you'll see the unique thing about um these uh net casting spiders is that they they do make webs but they don't just make webs and sit and wait like um, a lot of true spiders do. They make webs and they make an intricate net and they catch their prey by hanging upside down. They make this net and it's like an elasticated net that opens up like this. And then what they do is they hang with the net and then they down, 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 scoop up prey, wrap it up in the net and that's what they do. It's absolutely amazing. It's one of the most amazing things you'll see um, in the spider world, I think, anyway. And um, obviously, we're not going to see... Go on, Gav. I believe uh, Andy from Spider Spiders has footage yeah. of the actual thing uh, over on his YouTube channel. There you the go. Actual... Andy from Spider Spiders over on his YouTube channel. That's Spiders, Spiders. If you want to see some net casting action, I believe also the Invertebrarian himself about a year ago, he had a net casting spider and he also caught some footage. And also I myself actually have some amazing footage um, that I took about four or five years ago when I had my first net casting spider. I really, really wanted to... Um, Put that video in tonight to show you guys but i just didn't have time in the end um so uh so i really wanted to show you that but um if i get time towards the end i'll i'll see if i can find it because i'm pretty certain it's just on my laptop somewhere i just don't want to spend too much time now messing about trying to find it but uh, honestly it's an absolutely amazing thing to see um but do stick we won't see any of that tonight because obviously i'm only rehousing the uh the net casters tonight um, obviously they need time to settle in they need time to build their webs they need time to, to make their anchor you know anchor from the uh, from the top um anchorage points and then they need time to obviously make their nets and all this that and the other but we will revisit this i promise we will revisit this and we will um i will hopefully get some footage in a later stream of uh, the net casters what i'm going to do gal i'm going to make a i'm going to do a stream later on is i'm going to once they've all settled in I'm going to wait until they've all made their nets and then I'm going to do a stream where I'm just going to pop food in and we'll just hopefully we'll just catch a whole a whole range of, of, of yeah yeah that would be good though that's um, what I'm hoping to do anyway so look up just that. while you, while you're out of your flow um we've not had to put extra vent holes in um because the mass of air that that's already in there um you, you don't really have to have the extra ventilation holes if the sponge is being taken out once a week the air is replaced then anyway um and it just helps keep the humidity where we want it there you go there Plus, you go the sponge is porous as well so it's... yeah the sponge is porous so um, there's plenty of air going in there and also i'm going to be feeding them probably at least twice a week so uh, I'm going to be taking that off. I mean, there is a heck of a lot of, like Gav said, there's a heck of a lot of space in there. So I'm not going to worry too much, especially with their young slings. When they get a little bit older, the ones that I'm keeping for myself and hopefully hopefully going to get some pairs and breed, later, um, the, I will upgrade them to a, vent, to, a, to a proper ventilated enclosure once they get a little bit, a little bit bigger. So, uh, um, 
Kathy's in the house. Kathy, welcome, welcome, welcome. There you go. It's uh, so it's she Kathy. said she was going to try and get in. She did. I saw. I saw her uh, mentioning on the in the comments who's going to try and get in. So welcome, Kathy. Thank you so much. Did you uh, <laughs> did you have just the one drink at the uh, at the old pub, or did you uh, or, or have you been and come back, or have you brought the pub? The, have you, are you in the pub or are you? <laughs> what the heck is going on? <laughs> anyway, thanks so much, Kathy. So. Uh, Let's get a uh, let's get a link for Kathy as well, mate. While we're, if you can find that, that's Pinsect UK. That's Kathy. Does all the uh, home monitors on it? Home monitors on it. There you go, we, Kathy. We're going to drop some links in for you for your Instagram and your Facebook page. That's Pinsect UK. That's our Kathy. She's a very very talented um, taxidermist, and uh, and also she pins 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 insects right, left, and centre. <laughs> it's uh, and she uh, she embeds them in resin and does all sorts of absolutely stunning beautiful artwork and craft work and all all revolving around pinning insects and and that and such like she's got instagram pinsect you and uh facebook and uh, i don't know she's probably on tiktok i don't do tiktok but she may very well be on my tiktok as well so uh, uh, she's brought the pub back with her she's brought the pub back with her there you go well done kathy <laughs> i've seen some of kathy's um so we got Instagram posts when she's out and about around London town. <laughs> no, she's out and about. You're so well, it up, Liam so calls it resident nut. <laughs> um, uh, Joffy's here as well, I believe. Joffy, yeah. Joffy, he's getting, he's getting brave, isn't he, Joffy? He's starting to say hello more and more often. Joffy, thanks so much, man. I'm really, really pleased that you've uh, that you're starting to be a bit more of a keyboard warrior. Do you know what it is? It's because he. Um, He's making more and more YouTube videos all the time. It's like doing his little like doing his little reviews, his his top ten horror films and I'm gonna DVDs. say he does horror he does loads of all that stuff. stuff. stuff so as well, uh, yeah. that's our Joffy. So we'll drop a link for Joffy's so uh, in fact we'll just keep dropping links for everybody, man. We'll just cause everyone really? nearly everyone here has got a YouTube channel or, or, or such like. Um so and honestly, I, I promise I'll get started in a minute. I'm I'm waffling a little <laughs> bit, I know, but I just want to say we've got a reference guy, don't we? I just want to say that because you guys in the chat, you you, you come here, you, you you spend your you spend your evenings with me and Gab, and you come and you come and show your support, and you, I know you come and like you meet up with all your friends in the chat, which is absolutely fantastic. But I've got to say, the array of talent and creativity that we've got in the chat from from some of these guys, we've got so many people who do some amazing things on their YouTube channels. So there we go. We've got Instagram, uh, Pinsects UK. That's uh, that's Kathy. She does absolutely amazing work pinning insects, and she embeds them in resin and does all kinds of things. So I know she, uh, I know she does. Uh, she takes requests and uh, and takes um, and and does commissions for people and things like that. So if you're at all interested in having your beautiful, beautiful, lovely uh, insects pinned when they've passed away, um, in a in a most beautiful way and creative way. Um, go and check out Pinsect UK. That's Kathy. Um, she's on Facebook. I think I, I th I'm going to say she's on TikTok because I'd be amazed if she's not. Um, and I know she's on, she's on Instagram as well. So uh, so there you go. And we've got Spooky Dukes as well, who also does a load of amazing um, artwork and, and and does all the uh, does all the stickers and badges and 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 and, and just oh, she can just put stuff, put your logos on on anything and designs and. You know, just the creative talent, man, we've got knocking around. It's absolutely amazing. We'll come back to that because I need to get started. <laughs> I could spend, you know what? I could spend all night talking about how amazing um, all you guys are in the chat. You know, Joffy, like I was saying before, Joffy has got um, got some amazing videos coming out on his YouTube channel. So if you're really into, like, genre-based reviews, he does a load of invert stuff, rehousings, Breedings, feeding videos, all that stuff. But Joffy's also got another edge to him as well, where he like reviews all these like horror genre DVDs and all this sort of stuff. So it's absolutely cool if you're into that sort of thing. That's Joffy Old Noodle. That's his link there. Right. right. So there you go. Is that uh, there's a link? Ben's in the house. Face with hey, Ben. How's it, how's it going, Ben? Welcome, ben. buddy. We've not started yet because um, I've just, just linking. How amazing everybody is in the chat. Um, could probably do a whole stream just like bigging everybody up, couldn't we, for two hours straight? Could, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get started, guys. Um, it's time to uh, crack on because there's a lot of people 
who are I'll just keep dropping links. <laughs> Thanks, man. There's a lot of people who aren't in the chat, and uh, I apologise to you because they're probably just sat there thinking, just crack on with it, dude. We want to see these spiders. <laughs> Stop waffling on about all these people who I don't know and don't care about. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're just going to crack on. So basically, here we go. I'm going to switch to uh, Big Fish in the Sky. So, guys, we're going to start rehousing some of these uh, aspectors. Uh, Gav, if you can look out for Jenny as well, uh, because um, obviously these, these spiders came from her. So if she shows her face in the chat, that would be good. Um, she did say she was going to come. So, right, guys, here we go. This is what I am going to rehouse the aspectors in. So as you can see, what I've gone for, I've created a little arch. You can see that. Lots of anchor points all around at the higher echelons of the uh, of the enclosure and the idea really is that they're going to use all these anchor points at the top to hang from and then it, hopefully in the middle they will uh, make their web their net and they will hang because like i said before i've had these a few years ago and um, if you make if you make the enclosure just right um they will make their net exactly where you want it to so um it's it can be very exciting so i'm hoping we're going to uh i've planned this right oh yeah the other thing is as well um you can see it there i'll tell you what i'm just going to start shall i because i've got other things to talk about with this enclosure because i've there's a couple of other bits and pieces i've added to this enclosure um so it's basically just the usual substrate, my usual uh, homegrown substrate, which is basically just um, just substrate, uh, soil, um, vermiculite, cocoa fiber. Um, it's got some moisture at the bottom. It's dry at the top, but it has got some moisture in there. It's not wet through. It's just a little bit moist, uh, so it's got some humidity. And basically, if you can see, what I've done is... You can see that piece of uh, birch bark at the bottom. I've deliberately placed that over the substrate. Now, the reason I've done that is because when I used to have these net casters years ago, um, I didn't put anything clean at the bottom. It was just substrate, soil and stuff. And what I found was when the net caster was like trying to get a fly or something that was like crawling around at the bottom, it would, it <laughs> moist, save that. Save that for Scott's channel, man. <laughs> um, basically, when they uh, when they cast their net, what they would do is if they missed the prey, they would pick up loads of soil and particulates from the uh, from the substrate, and basically um, they would then spend the next hour or so cleaning their web from all the uh, dirt and uh, bits and pieces that they picked up accidentally from the substrate. And um, and obviously that's just annoying, most no more so than for the spider. Um, and so basically, what I uh, what I wanted, what I did in the past was add something at the bottom just to cover, just to cover the substrates, keep it clean, so that when the prey crawls over the uh, crawls over the court bark, um, well in this case the birch bark, um, it won't pick up any of the uh, soil and stuff. It will be relatively clean. So that's my little tip for uh, rehousing netcasters, guys. Go forth, do with it what you like, but trust me, it works. So, uh, so there you go. Right, okay. Let's just crack on, shall we? Let's just crack on. I've actually been speaking. I've had a message from uh, Jenny on Messenger saying she's watching on the Xbox. <laughs> Hi, Jen. She's watching on the Xbox um, uh, because she couldn't. She, she usually watches on the phone, but it won't let her sign in or anything. So, uh, and they and she says Jennifer Spiders isn't her. <laughs> no, tarantulas. But Jennifer's tarantulas. I think I said that, didn't I? I might have said spiders at first, but I'm pretty sure. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So it's Jennifer's Jennifer's tarantulas. There you go, Jennifer. Welcome, welcome, welcome. She's watching. Let's all say hello to Jennifer because Jennifer is the reason we are all here. Jennifer for um for sending all these lovely lovely spiders and um and we are all very grateful because i'm hoping we're going to get some really cool footage 
So, without further ado, man, it's half past nine and I've not even rehoused a single thing. So I'm just going to crack on. So feel free to talk amongst yourselves. I am just going to crack on and get started. So, the first one. And yes, as, you, as I mentioned, they can be quite lively. Oops. Yeah, very lively. <laughs> That one's in. There we go. Crawling nicely up the... Uh... There we go, look. There's the first one in, look. Safe and sound. They're pretty lively, aren't they? There we go, look. And it's nestled perfectly and exactly where I wanted it. It's almost like I knew what I was doing. There we go. Look and see it. Yeah. Just there. Yeah. Nestled in absolutely perfectly. Look at that. Settled right down. And it's it's gone exactly where I wanted it to. So there we go. There's number one, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to rehouse a few, and then you know it, you know it, you know what's coming. It's going to be critic camp time. So I've done these all exactly the same, and like I was saying, I put a lot of thought into uh, into rehousing these. Let's just hope that they uh, that they play ball, shall we? There's another one. These are a good size, Jenny. Good size. Look at that. There we go. So amazing, aren't they? So amazing. Guy in there. There we go. No, nope, he wants to stay on the tissue. There we go. There's another one, number two. So I wasn't sure if she had liked to. I wanted to ask Jenny some questions. I was hoping she was going to be around. I it's to, uh... My mistake. It's not the same one. What's that? So ignore anything I said. Oh no. About what? About it's Jenny's. Not... It's another. It's another Jenny. Oh, um, no. <laughs> one's Gosling and one's Gollins. Oh. Okay. That's where I got confused. So I stand corrected and just. So does Jenny have a page of any, or anything? Yeah, I'm sending it. Steph's on it. Okay, Steph's on. Hall monitor's on it. That one was quite lively. Right. Well, I am hoping to uh, get some macro footage soon, guys. So just um, just hold on to your hats for a second. I know that's what you're all waiting for. I know you didn't all tune in to. Uh, to just look at, look at me doing this. So these are actually quite widespread. Um, people often think that they're just from Africa, but um, I think these Aspectans are from uh, Cameroon, as far as I'm aware. Denny, if, um, if you know exactly where these are from, um, Please feel free to message me and correct me, but I think these were from Cameroon, but I'm not sure. There we go. Look at that beauty. These are a good size, these. I'm really happy. Look at that beauty. Yeah, Jenny's just confirmed from Cameroon. So there you go. 
I mean, these are actually uh, these are actually far and wide. Um, I don't know about this particular species, the uh, Dinopis expectant, but um, they are from the family Dinopidae, and um, as far as I'm aware, there are obviously quite a few different species within that family, and um, and they they're found in Australia various parts of Africa and certain parts of America and um, but they have uh, they have that single thing in common um, where they build a net to uh, to catch their prey which obviously is very very unique and that's why we are all very excited that these are in the hobby Carl's in the house. How's it going, Carl? Don't worry, mate. We've only just really started. I was waffling. And, 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 and Sylvia. Sylvia is in the house. There you go. Good friend. How's it going, Sylvia? There we go. These guys are so lively. But, um, what I think what I'm going to have to do is just put them in and um, and, and hope one or two settle down you know looking looking upwards so we can get so we can get sucked into their absolutely amazing eyes because they're all uh, they're all just they're all just set in those positions where I wanted them to which is not such a bad thing. It has been a long time. It has, it has, it has. But I'm guessing you're quite busy. Well, these aren't... Um... These aren't overly troublesome. Are Famous last words. I'm feeling very confident, dude. I might get Critic come out. Ooh. I'm gonna get critic come out. Oh, gonna he's, do gonna do it. he's gonna do it! He's gonna do it! I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna get critic come. Critic cam, critic cam, Mitch is your macro man. Critic cam, critic cam, peeking into the unseen universe. There you go. <laughs> if you're new to the stream, I'm not going to apologise. That's just our silly little bit we do. Critic cam, because everyone's here to see critic cam. So we felt like we uh, we felt like critic cam needed a proper intro, right? Yeah, I'm sorry, we're just reading comments. Yeah, yeah so I'd love to know that as well, Claire, because they're annoying. Now you can get that, is it um, detritus soil or something like that? That's yes, supposed to be. Um, I think you're right. Sorry, I'm just... Um, I'm that might not be its real name. I'm known to make things up from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> no. You You know what? I'm just gonna go I'm just gonna get I'm just gonna get Raynox out. I'm messing about. Here we go. Ooh. Right. So look at his eyes. Yep. Unfortunately, um, the problem is it, we're going to we're going to struggle to uh, to see the uh, uh, to see the eyes the uh, the main eyes. So the uh, the, the, posterior, the, the posterior medium the ones. Ones. Yeah, the big the big um, big ones up front because. Um, they all prefer to just be hanging down, looking down. 
I'm looking at all the ones I've rehoused so far, and um, they're all just doing looking down like this. So uh, that's what um, gives them the other name, isn't it? The ogre faced. Yeah, the ogre faced because of the. Uh, they've also got another another name which I can't remember. Is but I think they're most commonly known for the uh, ogre faced and neck casting. Yeah. Of, I mean, apparently the uh, the uh, Deinopsis is is Greek, and it's Greek for Deinos means fearful, and Opis means appearance. So fearful appearance. And let's face it, we've all seen some um, front portrait views of those posterior eyes, and they are absolutely terrifying. <laughs> let's let's um, yeah, let's face yeah. It. You, you can understand <laughs> where that comes from, yeah. So uh, let's just um, let's just try a bit of trickery and tomfoolery. Look at the markings; absolutely beautiful. I didn't realise they were they had such uh, rich, rich brown colours. Not at this uh, early stage, anyway. There we go. Adam's YouTube channel has got some uh, inverted variant. That's our Adam. He's got some amazing footage of the net caster. I think he's got some footage of it building the net and also then um, catching prey. So uh, there you go. If you want to see some footage, not right now, obviously, because uh, we're doing amazing stuff here. If, if you want to see, he has a lot of true spider footage that he's, he's managed he to does. get over, over yeah. his time. So he definitely worth a look and check him out. Yeah. I'm sure most of them have. You know, he's a lot bigger than he thinks. <laughs> I know. He's um, his uh, worst enemy. I think. Definitely up there. Just like um, a lot of us. So, yeah, like... Um, like Francis, you know. These are what I'd call big hitters. Yeah. Yeah, because at the end of the day, you know, as a lot of people will know, a YouTube channel is not based purely. You should never base a YouTube channel based purely on the number of subscribers. No, no, no. It's, you, often see, it's what they you, often see, you often see much better stuff sometimes um, from like lesser known people or people with fewer followers. Because um, I've found that, I mean, don't get me wrong, some of the big guys out there, Tarantula the Collective, etc., etc. You know, I mean, these guys are, you know, Dark Den. I mean, these guys, th there's a reason why they've got tens of thousands of followers, obviously. Yeah, and, yeah. And we're not belittling them in any way, shape, or form. They are amazing. Credit where credit's due. But there's also a lot of a lot of people with several thousand followers who maybe they don't do quite so good content. It's maybe just there's some other reason why they're getting a lot of followers, and uh, you know. And I think a lot of people nowadays, it's um, it's more about the community they have rather than, you know, it's more about the people who comment on their videos or, or like us, come and see us in the live streams and get yeah, involved. Yeah. It's more about, I'd, I would much rather have 20 to 30 strong, friendly, loving, amazing community members who come and join us for chats than 10,000 subscribers who never comment on any of my videos. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And the thing it's, is, like, uh, all these guys, they all know the stuff, all these people that are in the chat. Yeah, you know, of course. They all have their own... I want... Uh, expertise, ex yeah. expertise, if you like. I'm not, I'm yeah, not saying, absolutely. you know, because none of us are experts in any of it. We're all still learning. But they all have their own niche, you know, like... Yeah, you've got rare absolutely. Jumping spiders... Dookie, yeah. if you want your yeah. stickers, there you go. <laughs> I mean, it's it, yeah. The 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 thing is, so I, think, little... I, I, I think we, uh, I think between everyone in the chat, including ourselves, we've just about got everything covered <laughs> that we need to know, and then that we need that you know, as far as getting going is concerned. Obviously, life and our hobby is all about learning knowledge and we're all at school we're at school every day aren't we which is amazing yeah. so uh anyway look at this beautiful spider greg you know your stuff about scorpions 
Greg, you're the, tell uh, yourself, you're, Charles. Greg, you're really sure. You're the resident scorpion expert, dude. I've um, I've got I've got a little project in mind that I need to speak to you about, Gav. That I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to divulge on there, which is what I've been guilty of in the past. <laughs> um, but um, I'm going to uh, I've got I've had another idea, um, and so I'm going to run that by you next time I see you. But it needs a lot of it needs a lot of thinking about more thinking about. <laughs> anyway, look at this beautiful spider. There you go. What do you reckon, Jenny? Absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna see if I can, I'm gonna see if I can find one of the others that's maybe not pointing downwards, <laughs> which I think is gonna be impossible. Let it go. Let it go. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna see if I can. Uh... <laughs> Does that make me baldry, Clint Steph? Yeah. Idea. I could use this slug as a mustache. <laughs> so I'm just thinking about. Um, there's absolutely no chance I'm going to be able to uh, look at the eye, look into the eyes of these um, of these viewers, you know. Because um, we need them to be looking a different way. Let's see if I can just turn him around a little bit. Let's see if he'll play ball. Bear with me a minute, guys, because I'm going to. I really want to see if I can. Uh... Okay, he's on my finger. Right. I'm going to put the lid on that bad boy. Let's have a quick look before I move on. If I can um, find one that's in a slightly different... No, nope, they're all pointing downwards. I think, do you know what I'm going to have to do? Where's that one? Yeah, they're all pointing downwards. So I'm not going to... Uh, I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to try and see if I can get one out and look at it while it's still in the tissue. Did you say? Did you say what Andy said? No. Yeah, Andy, I uh, I know what you mean. There is a uh, there is some subtle differences. It's di it's you can definitely tell with the shape usually between males and females. <laughs> I'm just going to see if she's going to sit still. Bear with me, guys, because I'm, uh, I'm I'm trying something different. And you know what? Go. Went really, really well. And I were a good video of that. I did enjoy it with the big prehistoric moths. We just need some more light on the job here. Just bear with me. No, it's moving. And I reckon so. Peter. I think we all know who it is. Is this something I need to know? I'm just catching up with chat. They're just talking about the biggest channel, don't even have a, a face in front of the camera. Oh. Peter said, Is that the handbrake for a ship with the hands? Sorry, I'm just concentrating. I'm really, really trying to. And Kelly is here. There we go. Just hope that they're going to play ball a little bit. Because every time I move the table, I can't quite get the light right because every time I move the table. Bear with me, guys. Yeah, it was stuck. Keeps moving. Proving quite tricky. 
we're getting a little bit of footage just um just not sitting still as long as i would like Yeah, she's not playing ball. She's too lively you now. The uh, look at the leg. Am I right in thinking that you might have some of these available at some point? I think you might be right. I've definitely got some of these available, and um, I'm uh, I'm actually taking some to Doncaster. So uh, yes. I'm not sure if uh, Jenny's got any left, Vanessa, to be honest. I, on the other hand, do. She's not sitting still for very long, but uh, I think we've had a little bit of footage. I'm definitely, I really want to have a closer look at the, uh, those legs. Did you see those interesting, like, um, can't see them from this angle. The, the white hairs. Yeah, but there's some um, there's certain parts of the leg that you couldn't see. They looked like um, they had some really interesting um, kind of uh, nobbles, some like nodules, so to speak, on the on the legs. I'm not sure whether that's something to do with the uh, the way you know the way that they uh, cast their web. Yeah, and, maybe. I need to really look into. I don't know. You know your stuff, Peter. Can you can you see on the leg? There's there's those little white. They're like little hooks, aren't they? Yeah, those yeah. Pairs. Like I reckon Rumble that's where they. Uh, I reckon that's where they. That's where they hold the net. You know, so when they hold the net out, so they kind of hold it because they. I've got. I've actually got some really cool video footage of um of of the. Uh, of the, of the spider building its net and then what they do is they test they test its um, its strength its 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 elasticity and that it they make sure that before they before they set themselves to catch prey when they've built it they'll like they'll expand it and contract it like this so it op to make sure that it opens and closes like kind of like neatly and efficiently yeah. before they actually set to catch prey um, and I reckon if you look at those, um, so, those those little white hooks on the leg, I reckon that's where they, because they're not on any of the other legs, they're only on those front legs. And I reckon that's where they, uh, that's where they keep the net um, kind of spaced out. They hook like it a, a weaver's loom. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I reckon that's exactly it. Because if, if you look, it looks like they've got them on both sides. Yeah, yeah. We've got one on 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 the inside and the outside of the uh, of the leg. Really interesting. I'm gonna re I'm gonna have to definitely look into. There's there's a few papers out there actually that I'm definitely gonna look at. I reckon that's what they're for, you know, because there's there isn't any on the other legs. Can't see any on the other legs. Look. Fascinating. Yeah, that could be what it is then. Yeah. Absolutely fascinating. That's so interesting. Oh, there we go. Look. There we go. Look. Look at that. They're really unique structures. They are. There's something about. I was reading something about those 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 feather-like structures, just where the spines are. Um. There's something unique about this particular um, family of spiders that have them. Uh, I need to look into it a little bit more. I wish I was armed with a bit more information, to be honest. Could do with uh, our, our resident posh boy. <laughs> I had a quick look at Where his. Are you, Jeremy? I had a quick look at his video, man. There's absolutely no zero like information about like properly. Just, <laughs> it's a good video though. 
but it's just more about husbandry than anything else. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, look at those structures. They're really interesting. Yeah, there's something about them. There we go, anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jeremy did, him, you mean his Jeremy, front room? You know, Jeremy like, did message me. Really did message. Yeah, you reckon Jeremy's got like a, a massive, like, he's, he's probably got. <laughs> Why Jeremy's would he probably, cribs? <laughs> Jeremy's probably got um, a whole wing of his estate cordoned off just for cinema entertainment complex. <laughs> He's probably got a whole wing in his butt in it in his in it at his giant open state. Um <laughs> We're on a joking, Jeremy. You know we will be <laughs> anyway. There we go. There we go. Look, I'm really, really happy we got to look at those structures, look, on the legs, because there is something very unique about those structures, and I can't remember what they are. Um, so I really need to uh do a follow-up on this. They could be like what I went back to you today with one at Spiders. Oh, it had something that looked like it, it were crevice weavers. Yeah. They they seem to have on their uh, pedipalps almost like a comb type of structure. Yeah. And I wondered yeah. whether it were for fluffing up the the web. Yeah. There's definitely something. Uh, there's definitely something unique about those structures on the legs, because it's no coincidence that they're um, they've got those spines coming out of them as well. Cool beast is here. Aromatic beast, how's it going? Aromatic beast, you're all right. Thank you for tuning in. We are just um, we are just admiring the uh, the absolute sheer beauty and beastiness of the. Uh, of the net casting spider. These are the Dinopis um, Aspectans. Right. I don't think we're gonna uh, I don't think we're gonna get a look at it a look at their eyes. I think we're gonna be very lucky to uh, to get a look. I might um, I might just rehouse a few more and hope and hope that we uh... the, the thing is it's um, obviously what I might have to do in the future is set up a camera where I'm looking up. Because the problem is these spiders, obviously, by their very nature, they 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 hunt facing downwards. So um, they're natural they're naturally they're naturally inclined to uh, to just face downwards immediately. So like all these others are just facing down. I wonder if we could get a GoPro. You know that bark at the bottom? Cut an hole in it. Yeah. Put GoPro screen uh, lens to be there. Yeah. And just get it recording. Yeah. Absolutely. Cool that. Right. Let's... Um... Did I just see that? It's just... Charlotte. Charlotte's web. Yeah. Let's track on, shall we? Hey, up, Charlotte. Charlotte's in the house. How's it going, Charlotte? Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are just in the middle of rehousing the uh, netcasters. And um, it's proving, as I suspected, <laughs> it's proving quite difficult to, uh, to get to see the beautiful face of the netcasting spiders. They are. Um... I don't believe it's medically uh, significant or anything. No, it's not. I uh, I did look into that. They uh, their venom is um, is not um, significant. Um, so yeah, that's that. I think <laughs> the, the way that the the fangs work as well makes it hard for it to be yeah any problems for us as such. Yeah, exactly. 
so there we go right well that was nice we did get we did manage to get a little bit of footage um i would have liked to have um i would i would have liked to have um obviously got the footage of the uh, of the face and the big eyes the uh the posterior eye but um but unfortunately not to be so uh right dawn's off spooky dukes night night dawn thank you, you so much for watching in. probably doing another stream on sunday guys probably doing another stream on sunday i've just had a whole bunch of new slings and also a secret i'm going to reveal on the night so you will have to for that more to come on that later i've not even told you how we go no not even told go so there you go it must be a secret hey up lewis lewis is in the house how's it going lewis you all right buddy what's, what's james saying it is true they hang the web up mate if you've not caught anything for a while Saw a write up online that says they hang it in the foliage in the yeah. Um, I was actually going to speak about this a little bit, James. I'm trying not to speak about everything all in one go. Um, but um, I was actually going to say that um, I did actually used to see that. So what James has just said, um, I've actually um, I have seen that in action. I don't know if I've got any footage of it, but I think I have got footage of a. Uh, of a net casting spider from when I used to own one several uh, quite a few years ago. They uh, they build their net. Uh, okay, I'll come back to this in a sec. Uh, what's happening? Uh, yeah, just there we go. Sidex is off. I'll see you later, Sidex. Is uh, you know what what's you. going on, man? Is it, is it? Are you having a takeaway tonight, man? Or is Ebs? Is <laughs> or is that is that a silly thing to say? <laughs> no offense, Ebs. I'm sure she's an awesome cook. Beans on toast. Nobody's seen anything like it. <laughs> now, Francis, we're probably going to be here till about 11, between 11 and quarter past. I'm hoping to wrap things up. So uh, if, uh, yeah, do join us. Do come back, my friend. Um, but if not, we'll see you again soon. I'm going to be here again on Sunday, by the way. Um, yeah, back to what James was saying. James said something really interesting about the uh, netcasters and, um, and and some of their habits and, uh, and their behaviour is that when they... Um, when they cast their net, because obviously, if you think about it, casting that, that net is, um, it, it takes up a, he a heck of a lot of resources on the spider's behalf. You know, any spider that, that, um, that lays a, uh, you know, that, that casts a net or any kind of web or anything like that, um, it takes up a heck of a lot of their, uh, their natural resources, you know, their proteins and all kinds of things. Um, you know, and it, it, it's quite, uh, it's quite, I imagine it's, um, it's quite resource. There's resourceful. a lot of movement in it as well, isn't there? It's there's a lot of movement, there's a lot of energy expelled. So, you know, there's, if you think about when a spider, like if you watch those videos, when you see those videos of like orb weavers making their net, their, their net, um, their webs, that is a heck of a lot of work goes into that. And the interesting thing about, different thing about orb weavers compared to the uh, net casters, which is what I'm going to come back to, is that orb weavers, they make their net, they make their web first thing in the morning, and then they they uh, di they digest it. They, they they eat it back up at the end of the day. They'll eat it back up at the end of the day, and then they'll, you know, um, well, I'm not really sure what the, what the correct terminology would be, digest it, or they just, they just internalize it, basically. Um, they just internalize their web, and then they, like, hide, you know, at one of their anchor points, out of sight overnight and then they come out the next day and then they have to go through the whole process again and they make it again and that you know that's a that's a massive investment isn't it on relying on whether or not you're going to catch some food for that day because they expel so much energy and they use so much natural resources from their bodies to make that web that they really really heavily rely on on catching something so that they can replenish all that, um, all those proteins and energy and, and micromolecules and all those things that they need in order to obviously grow then as well. You know, if they're continuously using all their energy to make a web and never catch anything, they're never going to grow. And that's, you know, that eventually that's, that's, that's bad news. But the interesting thing about the netcaster, which is what James was just pointing out, is that um, they make their, their web in the form of the net, which was what we've already discussed. Um, 
But instead of like internalizing the net, say at the end of the day or whatever, they um, they basically put the uh, they hang the net, um, the web net, somewhere safe on one of the anchor points in the top corner, out of the way. And then when they come to use it again, they just pick it back up, and then they 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 put it back, um, you know, on their on their legs and they spread it out and they use it again. It's absolutely amazing. It's, That's, it's, it's, it's almost like, uh, like a, a small, a small islands fisherman, you know, like in, in Indonesian islands or something where that's, you've got an old man that just goes out fishing every morning, comes back and hangs his yeah. net up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's that's exactly like, that is exactly it. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, um, and, and, you know, in that way, they don't have to, uh, if they don't catch anything that day, then, um, then obviously they, um, they save energy by by not having to uh, make their net, make their web net every every single day. They uh, they basically just hang it up on a on a hook at the end of the of a hard day's work, and um, you know go chill out, watch a bit, watch a bit of Netflix, um, have some snacks, and then uh, you know put their feet up, and then the next day they come out and they uh, they pick their net up again and um, and basically start all over again. It's absolutely fascinating. So uh, so yeah, good points. Um, James, um, I've actually, I'm pretty certain I've actually got some, um, some of that footage, a video showing. I've definitely got footage of, um, of netcasters making their net and then catching prey with it. I'll have to try and dig that out, dude. Um, it's quite old footage, but I've got a really nice, um, I've got a really nice, um, fast um, time lapse of it happening. Very cool. What's Chris, what's Chris is saying? Did she, did she bang on Lauren A's behaviors, basically, tool use. Yeah. That is exactly what they're doing. It, it, is, a, it is a tool, isn't it? It's, it, is their, it is their life tool, basically. So, uh, so, yeah, it's absolutely fascinating. Yeah, that is true as well, Andy. They don't, um, I was actually going to come on to that. They don't, they don't um, Andy was saying that um, if they're disturbed, they are prone to eating their net, um, which I think is probably just a uh, an automated um, reaction to potential danger in the environment. You know, because rather than have their net destroyed, and then they've got to like make it all again from fresh, they probably go into survival mode and. Um, you know, if they think there's a threat and rather than have that net damaged, they will internalize it and then they can, you know, they can, they can recycle it within themselves yeah, yeah. and start again. So that, that all that energy that they've used to make the net it isn't lost, basically. So, uh, so there you go. Another great point. I reckon that's the same with a lot of species of, well, spiders, tarantulas, because... Yeah. When you get the, the bollock back, if you've fed a tea, it never yep. comes back covered in web. It, it's just basically the crushed up carcass of whatever you fed them. Yeah. So they they must be di redigesting their web. Yeah. Yeah. Well, exactly. I mean, you know, I, I'd be amazed if if, if I, I I imagine they all do it to a certain degree. All all spiders, you know, yeah. all, all all spiders. And it's so rich in protein as well. Yeah. Well, exactly. I mean, it more or less is protein. Yeah. That's pretty much what it's, you know, what it's what it's made of, basically. So, so when you all get hungry, get your silk scarves out. <laughs> well, I'm not sure whether or not we're going to get any uh, any better footage, you know, guys, because um, I keep looking at all these spiders, and they're all basically facing downwards. As soon as they go in their little homes, they uh, they basically are. Uh, Facing downwards, so um, which is you know, which is what you'd expect which, from everything we've been talking about. So uh, we'll have to have a think. Here, yeah, chat's got it's gone educational. We're talking Good. about um, what we're talking about relation between venoms and uh, medical purpose. Oh yeah, okay. So cool. me heart medications or painkillers. Yeah, yeah. Well, painkillers is definitely uh, pain relief is definitely one of the main areas for uh, 
for uh, Venom because um, even though it's not as widely used in um, in for Spider Venom, phase mid um, defense um, substances is is that's been going for donkey's years. Research into phase mid um, phase mid. Um, well, it's not it's not venom, is it? It's it's just like a it's it's just like a chemical it's, substance. That yeah, it's just out the smelling the defense mechanism. Um, uh, Black beauties are a, a good example of that. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, yeah, re research into uh, into phase mid um, chemical defenses is is definitely uh, more more pronounced at the moment. It's been going for for decades. It's actually an area I thought about going into, you know, you know, when I, uh, when I was in thinking about changing, in my previous life, when I was thinking about changing my research um, development um, niche, I was definitely thinking of going into, because uh, I just, just the idea of having like vivarium, a room full of vivariums with loads of different stick insects and spiders and venomous things. Um, and that was my job, <laughs> basically looking after them, you know, because you use like, you know, you, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah you, uh, you harvest the uh, the chemical from the uh, phase mid or the spider or whatever, the venom or whatever, and you uh, you basically just do analysis on it with a mass spectrometer and things, you know, and chromatography and things like that, and uh, it's um, it's all very cool science, and uh, I would have loved to have had a chance to uh, get into that side of things, but alas. Things, uh, things did, didn't turn out room. the way I picked. So, uh, so here I am doing this instead. <laughs> so there we go. It's coming along nicely now. It's um, we were. How many are we in now? We've got six left. Six left. I suppose we should uh, we should try and get Critter come out again, shouldn't we? Maybe at least once. Yeah. I'm hoping. I might have a go at. Critter coming through the uh, through the plastic. I just don't know if it will work. The problem is they're very lively, which is uh, often the case with true spiders in general, isn't it? Yeah. There you go. Look, there's a little fella just bobbing around. And a little dance. Bobbing around, bobbing around. Look, it all just adopts that. It was that. itself to assume that position again, wasn't it? They just all, they just, the, they all do. As soon as they, they start climbing up, this one's facing upwards at the moment, but as soon as it finds a, as soon as it finds a perch that it's happy with, it'll just spin round and face down. Um, See, it's just just facing downwards. So I don't think I think we're really going to struggle, guys, to get any. Uh, I mean, I'm happy to get the macro lens out again and just look at their bodies, but we're not going to. Uh, I don't think we're going to get any uh, any macro footage of them looking um, looking directly into the camera. I'm afraid. See that one's that one looks like it's a definite male. I think Andy might agree. Can you see how his body is? Um, Oh, it's got a longer, more slender body. Yeah, yeah. That tends to be the difference between the males and the females. But it, it is still quite difficult to uh, to tell. It's a lot leggier. That, yeah, I think that's definitely a male. You can uh, you can see with the body shape look. It's um, it's just got a it's just got a thinner, and it's got like an arc, an arced abdomen. Yeah, similar to like what you'd see in the. Uh... Is it Trinophilia, like the the giant orb weavers? Yeah, yeah. It's similar rule with their uh, abdomen shapes. There we go. Put that guy in there. So. There, I think the pots just... are quite clear enough on the bottom, Claire. Yeah, I was just looking at that. Uh, I was just looking at a, uh, so... Jenny has just sent me a message saying, try putting a deli lid upside down and put one in the lid. They'll sit in it for ages. Yeah, I did think about um, doing something like that. 
I might even be able to do something. one of these only another 18 to go Krisha she spotted at least two species in her garden of jumping spiders oh right okay it's <laughs> still quite a few to go yeah there's there's I think it's 20 species we have or it might be 21 look 21. who's in the chat look who is in the chat there you go Oh, we've drawn him in. We've drawn him in. There we go. How's it going, my friend? <laughs> uh, let me just um, let me just uh, open this up a second because I want to see if I've missed anything else from uh, from Jenny. Just want to see if Jenny's. I'm just having a quick look at Jenny's messages. See if no, I've not missed anything. Anyway, here we go. Look who's in the chat. It's a Rackno Tube. It's Gar himself. How's it going, buddy? It's nice of you to grace us with your presence, my friend. Uh, awesome. I knew we'd get him get him in eventually. <laughs> <laughs> you just so have to him in with something. We've got it. We've got to let's drop a link in for uh, for Gar because obviously um, Gar is uh, yep. is one of the uh, is one of the celebrities of the uh, of the invert world, shall we say? He's um, been around longer than most. He's actually he doing he's a great out. journey at the moment. Uh, he knows his inverts. You are doing our native spiders. Yes, he's. Um, I think he's. Um, he's definitely. Uh, I've just started like follow, following old Gar a little bit more. I'm spending a little bit more time on YouTube, doing, trying to like, you know, follow a few people now, a few of my uh, favourite people, and following, you know, putting a bit more effort into watching other people's videos instead of just doing my own stuff. I'm trying, trying my hardest, and uh, and yeah, Gar's definitely one I'm, I'm, I'm looking out for. I know he's, uh, I know he's like you say, he's, he's starting a, a few little adventures, a few little projects, looking for. Our own oh, one that he's been doing recently, he, uh, he had his waders on and they were up to his middle in stinking water, searching <laughs> for, I believe, a, a diving spider. Yes, I think I actually watched, started watching that one, actually. I haven't had time to go back to it. I'm going to get Criticam out again. I've decided, because Gar's here, I think he might want to see some stuff. Let's see if we can have a, get a look at this um, this spider, shall we? Just saying, Gar, we've um, really been struggling to get the spiders to play ball in terms of um, looking at them, uh, looking at them face on. Because obviously, as soon as you, uh, as soon as you do anything, as soon as you put them anywhere, they immediately uh, face downwards, which is obviously only natural for these guys. But um, that's not. That's not good enough for us. We want to see their faces. Right, let's have a quick look, shall we? See what we can see. There we go. Oop. Just see if I can get a little bit higher. So that's definitely a male. You can kind of tell by the, uh, the shape of the abdomen. See, they're just immediately looking down, aren't they? It's so fascinating. Got some. Gorgeous markings. They have some nice, lovely stripes. Yep. Quality oh, ranges. You are, dude. They're just answering a question for Andy. Yeah, the quality ranges. Uh, I think a lot of them. Depending on how technology's gone, it could be about 720, I think. 
so not like crystal clear what's that sorry what you we're on about you know the uh endoscopy camera type things oh yeah you know, on amazon that attach to your phone oh yeah 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 uh andy's wanting to uh is andy wanting to upgrade That's his, uh, the 720 there could be not too bad quality because a lot of webcams are, are 720 Seven. It depends what your uh, it depends what your output is. Like with stream, because I use Streamyard. Streamyard alone, because I'm not on the uh, premier like kind of biggest pay um, thing. Yeah, where you've got pay you have to pay there. you have to pay the most expensive to get 1080. Yeah, I'm only on the uh, I'm only on the first basic pay grade, so um, it only allows me an output of 720. So it doesn't matter how good your, uh... <laughs> yeah. It's... Well, that's seven twenty. <laughs> I know seven twenty is what we're on now. That's what this. That's what you're looking at right now, seven twenty, because um, it doesn't matter how. Um, it doesn't matter whether you've got four K camera. It'll only output what the. Uh, it'll only show you what the output is allowing you to show, and in this yeah. case, it's seven twenty. So it, it all depends on what um, on how you're going to show it on your on your YouTube. If you're just going to shoot videos and show it as a video, then yeah, you can you can go all the way up to whatever you want. You know, whatever the, whatever quality you want to pay for. But because I'm using Streamyard as my output, I can only get 720. So it it makes no difference what other I technology think... I'm using. Does it work in a similar way to, to megapixels as well? It's it's all about how big you upscale the picture to in it. Yeah, well exactly. So when you start losing your your quality. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's all about that resolution. Well there you go. Absolutely beautiful. I'm I'm I've really quite like to uh I'm just wondering if I can turn it around a little bit more. I just wanted to look at the, uh, the carapace because it's got absolutely beautiful markings. It's just not quite. High enough. See if I can shoot through the plastic. difference in the uh i know it's not crystal clear but it's clear enough to see that we just can you see the top of the head can you see the uh can you see the spikes coming out of the top of the head facing yeah, forwards? Yeah. they weren't there on that other one we were looking at were they can you remember no, right. it's uh, this is this is obviously definitely a male, and the other one was obviously a female. Yeah, we're more rounded on the other. Yeah, you can see the uh, you can see the pointed, the pointed elements on the top of the head look, pointing out forwards. That's just in case the miss with nap. Skewer them. <laughs> Impale them. It's not. <laughs> it's a backup. It's a backup. Um, Catching it's all about tactics. using your head when you're hungry. Yeah, man, absolutely. So they headbutt, they headbutt the uh, headbutt the prey. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, that is very cool. And look, how protruding those front, those front eyes are, man. You can see them looking. You can see them bulging out of the front. 
Absolutely. I would love to be able to get a close up of the uh, a front view of the uh, of the eyes, guys. But sadly, it's um, it's just not going to happen because um, they're just resisting get, themselves. Get double the amount, Greg, and split them, and then only use one lot. And keep the other one just just keep feeding them away don't take any out of it and they'll soon take off again there you go expert advice because that's exactly what we're doing that's why i've had to do it recently yeah um, sometimes it's good just to let your colony go down and start fresh yeah it's it's the only true way that you can properly clean um because after so long you know, stuff builds up, mites, stuff like that. Yeah. Something that we, us keepers can never seem to get away from. They're always there. <laughs> Bloody things. You know what? I don't, like, I don't want to uh, tempt fate, but in all the years I've been keeping, I've, I've touched wood, I've never had a mite problem. Not once. I've not had a not, big break. Not that, I've noticed, not that I've noticed anyway. I'm not I've saying I've never had mites, because, you know, but... Um, yeah. Uh, I know yeah. that Andy had a problem with them at one point. He had to get the predatory mites in and go through his own whole collection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolute ball ache. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what? There's a, there's a reason why Helen is in the house and there's a reason why her handle is Mantis Masters because she is a true master. In the hobby and the reason is i'm saying this is not only because it's true but have you seen the idea she's just come up with for yeah yeah the eyes? <laughs> that is a classic that is a brilliant idea but i don't have anything i can use right now <laughs> but looks like mitch is going uh shopping I'm just, as well i'm just Actually, wondering i'm just would, wondering would your mitch got... be able to uh She I'm must have some contacts. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, yeah, it's called eBay or Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering if I've got something really, really shiny and reflective, like a mirror sort of thing that I could put in the, one, of these, one of these final enclosures that I've not set up yet. You know what I mean? Just to, uh, just to reflect out. I'll try it, yeah. I don't think I've got anything. I don't want to spend all night looking for that. But that is a brilliant idea. So that's our Helen. Helen is in the house. It's uh, Mantis Masters. How is it going, Helen? You are a true legend. Um, absolutely amazing. That's a fantastic idea. And uh, I will definitely I will definitely set something like that up next time. Um, if um, The next time when I do something. So, uh, yes, brilliant. I don't have anything to hand. Um, and I could spend the next hour scratching around in the shed looking for something suitable. And I can't think that I've got anything suitable off the top of my head. But thank you. So uh, mm. that's Helen, Mantis Masters, true legend. She's been around longer than I have and uh, in, the, in the Mantis world. But she doesn't just do Mantis. She does all kinds of things. And she's got like this whole like kind of charity kind of thing going on in her home where she takes in like ill things or ill animals or like kind of you know sick animals or um just homeless animals you know helen's just got this she's a bit like dr doolittle in that respect so and she's got um, of like kind of um all these things and um honestly helen is absolutely amazing she's an absolutely wonderful person and sorry i didn't get to come and see you this year last year helen when uh, when i uh, i went over to wales but i promise next time I'm in North Wales, which is usually every year. We will have to get together and have a little catch up. So uh, there you go. Thank you. That's Helen Mantis, true, true legend. Been around, like I say, been around forever. Longer than me, longer than nearly everyone else that I know, to be honest. So uh, there you go. True, true masters. Right. So there you go. What are we doing? Yeah, there you go. See you soon. See you soon, Helen. Thanks so much for tuning in, and uh, we'll have to have a catch up very soon. Right, I'm going to see if I can. Um, I'm going to see if I can find a little spider to look at. Is um, no, I don't. Is Gar still around, or did he disappear? <laughs> he might be watching it on telly. 
let's see if we can find another spider to uh, to look at because I, I I would quite like to uh, get a look at something else if possible. See, I think this this is a this is that's this is a female. Did a poop. Did you see that? <laughs> That's just reminded me of another little behavioural thing that they do. Yeah, you see, it's not um, it's not running very clear through the uh, through the old plastic, I'm afraid. Let's just see if I can uh, raise that up a little bit. Oops. Yeah, uh, when I was doing a little bit of reading on these, they uh, they do this thing where they. Uh, you know when they've built their net and they're just about to uh, position themselves ready to catch some prey, they uh, they do this thing where they go up, they go upwards and they 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 spin round and they do like a little they drop some kind of um, thing. We don't know whether it's like a poop or like a it's just a deposit. They make a deposit on the ground and they don't know whether or not they uh, they're doing it as a uh, as a spot finder, you know, like, so it's something to focus yeah, on. Yeah, I think Andy was so saying drop, something about that earlier. They, yeah, they, they drop it down on the on the ground, just right below where they're going to hang and look down. And oh, I've just swallowed that little fly that was buzzing around in front of me. <coughs> it's all protein, mate. It's all protein. It's all right. Oh, yum, yum. This week, I have mostly mainly been this eating week, I have flies. mostly been eating flies let me just um, get something worthwhile looking at while before I start talking again it's a fake berry I'm really struggling to uh... bear with me a minute, guys. Does it have to be that spider that he's got out now, Steph? You didn't specify that, did you? Just a spider. Bear with me, guys. Sorry find the spider so we can have a look at it there we go catch you later sylvia thanks for tuning in see you sylvia yeah not getting a very good view at the moment Showing us ages, that's why. Yeah, struggling to find. Oh, another one, man. <laughs> Already for uh, Vic's night out, then. Hmm. <laughs> Trying to find one worth looking at. Bear with me, everybody. Yeah, they're all just in really awkward positions. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to finish off. I'm just going to finish off, guys, because it's, it's proving quite difficult. Prudential advert. <laughs> we want to be together. Oh. Definitely showing age now, Jesus! <laughs> it's Prue even still going? I don't think so. I have no idea. I'll be honest. <laughs> right, what was I talking about, Gav? Markings. Oh yeah, Mark I was yeah, yeah. 
target practice. I, I was talking about yeah the fact that they uh, when they've cut, when they've made their net just before they um, they hang down to uh, to position themselves waiting for uh, any prey that might scuttle past they uh, they kind of just point they turn they turn 180 degrees and then they 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 drop they deposit something down directly below where they're going to hang and then they they flip back over and then they uh, and then they kind of open their net and they position themselves directly over it now people i think the, the, the i think the, the main theory behind that is that they um, it's a point of um, it's a position to lock onto is it it's like a, a you know a, a spot of which they can focus their um, you know and then they'll just eye, so on that one spot then won't yeah they? so they just they just focus on that one spot because they know exactly then how far down, you know, they, they can get their depth perception in and they can calculate exactly where it is and where the bottom is. Because they uh, they often, they, 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 they hunt at night. So they, uh, you know, they're night hunters. So obviously, you know, they, even, though their vision, even though their vision is absolutely amazing, which I've got an amazing, amazing statistic to tell you that um, the Dinopis spiders absorb 2,000 times more light than jumping spiders. So I'm about to say the similarity between the, the jumping spiders is that targeted attacking it. Yeah. Whereas when you look at a lot of other true spiders, it's ambush predators, you know, the, the launch using feeling. Yeah. Whereas yeah. you've got stuff like the Dinopsis or the jumping spiders, where they're actually targeting a specific point. Yeah, well, they don't use well. The, you know, obviously, jumping spiders don't use webs at all to catch their prey. No. They are pure. They just predators. use it as guidelines, don't they? they are pure predatory hunters. They, yeah, they only use. They actually only use silk. Um, to as, as guidelines, guide ropes, so to speak, so they don't. Um, so if they fall off, so if they miss, if they miss, kind of their um, their jump, they don't just like they, you know, they just they just hang because they don't they connected to something to the point from from. So they'll always yeah, yeah. be hanging from that point. And that's the only kind of silk that they weave, as far as I'm aware. Um, and obviously the uh, Dinop Dinopis, sorry, they um, they obviously um, do use webs, obviously because that's what they use to catch their nest. But rather than like orb weavers and other spiders, where they um, where they create a web and they just wait for prey to come to that, they um, they obviously actively catch prey. Um, and that's why they need the eyes. That's why they. That's why jumping that's spiders why and um, and the uh, and Dinoxis and netcasters um, rely one hundred percent on their vision. It's all about their vision, and that's why they've got these huge, um, these huge large eyes at the front, these posterior median eyes. Uh, but that is fascinating. What I thought was fascinating about the um, the Dinopsis spiders absorb 2,000 times more light than jumping spiders. I found this fascinating as well, that Andis just said. It, 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 Vanessa yeah. that asked to start with about yeah. renewing the corn, uh, corneas. But yeah, that, that's mental, that. Yeah, um, I actually re I remember reading uh, reading that before. And um, I think they... Because um, what they do is they spend... They spend all the all the time that they're not hunting. They spend the whole of the day when they're not when they're not hunting, basically absorbing photons. They spend all day absorbing photons into their eyes, um, and um, so that in the evening when they when they when they're ready to start hunting, their eyes are at maximum capacity in terms of the amount of photo cells. That they've absorbed during the day into their eyes mm. there's photos it. out there this, there is actually some photos out there of um of these spiders um that have been shown 
filmed under a certain light and the, their eyes are just glow like they've got torches torch beams coming out of their eyes and they're just completely bright like they're just like bright lights like spotlights coming out of their heads <coughs> it's absolutely amazing so yeah can you imagine looking up and seeing that coming at you <laughs> i know the lights could up more oh yeah watching a cat <laughs> wouldn't it, wouldn't it? <laughs> I mean, it's absolutely fascinating. Well, definitely, we're definitely going to come back, and uh, once these have, um, once all these spiders have established themselves, and they've all, they're all starting to uh, make their nets, and once they all start like assuming that, um, you know, that net catching position to catch their prey, we'll definitely do a back a follow up live stream, and we'll try and. Um, We'll just get them lined up. All the ones that I've got nets ready, um, and we'll get them lined up, and we'll uh, we'll pop some food in there, and we'll uh, we'll try and um, we'll try and get some footage of them catching the prey because it's an absolutely amazing uh, thing to see. Catch right, you later. Sure. thank you. Goodbye. Thank you so much for tuning in. Always, always a pleasure. Thank you. Take care, and uh, don't leave it so long next time. But I know, I know you've all got busy lives, um, so we really do appreciate it when you come and spend some time with us. Because I know that everybody's always got uh, much better things to do. I'm sure. <laughs> right, this is the last one, guys. In it, Greg. It's just the more and more that you learn about. Species that you you know that, that's quite new to us. Um, the more you learn about the facts with them, it's just mind blowing. The malt, yeah, it really is. And the thing is, you never know everything, do you? You never know everything. There's always no. something new to learn, and that's why I've yeah. really. This is why. This is another one of the reasons, you know, guys, why I'm really enjoying doing these live streams, doing my showing you guys what sort of things I'm getting up to behind the scenes, but being able to share with you what I do. But the other main reason I do it is so that we can all just like get together and have a chat like we've been doing tonight. Like everyone's been chipping in little bits of information just to get, just to keep the conversation going. And, you know, everyone's got a little bit of information and we all pool it together. Um, you know, it's a meet up for like-minded yeah. geeks. Isn't it? it's, yeah, yeah, exactly. And, you know, uh, so we're, we're all nerds here. We're all nerds here, man. And um, and that's why uh, you know that's one of the main that's one of the main reasons I'm doing these streams like this. So, because I've got to do this anyway, I have got to do what I'm doing now anyway. <laughs> Basically, I uh, this is what I do behind the scenes, day in day out. I've always got stuff to rehouse. I've always got loads of new things coming in, breeding projects going in, and um, you know we. Uh, and now I'm obviously offloading loads of things to, <laughs> to you, Gav, as well. So, you know, we've just got so much going on here behind the scenes. And that was one of the main reasons why I wanted to uh, start doing these streams. So you guys could share with the, some of the things that I do. There's actually a lot more stuff goes on than what I show in the streams. But um, I'm not allowed to do more than two streams a week. The missus draws the line. <laughs> so, um, that that Vanessa's just said that, like, uh, mine and your knowledge combined is, it probably doesn't even equate to 1%. Don't even scratch the surface. It, right? it, it don't. No, that, I mean, I'm I'm still quite quite new. Uh, I've been around on the scene for about three years, but in in the grand scheme of things, I'm still fairly new to it and learning a lot. Yeah. From Mitch, um, yeah. as Mitch learns from me on the tarantula side, where yeah. he's not as knowledgeable. Yeah, absolutely. Um. But it's what I love about this hobby is there's so much to learn. And there's new stuff every single day as well. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. That most definitely is. And um, you just keep on learning. I mean, it's like you were just saying, you know, you've been in the hobby for like three years or so. And uh, I've, I've, well, I don't know how long I've been in the hobby now, but um, I've been doing it seriously as a job, you know, for the last 10 years. And obviously I was in the hobby before then, but... I've been I've been doing it seriously as Unseen Universe for ten years now, and 
and I'm still a relative newcomer. You know, with all the things that I've learned and doing over the years. There's guys out there that have been in the hobby for 20, 30. It's like I was just talking about Helen, you know, Helen and Greg. You know, these guys have probably been in the hobby twice as long as, as we have. And, uh, you know, if not even longer. So, you know, in the grand scheme of things, it's we're all we're all newcomers on some yeah. level, you know. So, uh, well, this is what I love about, I said it before and I'll say it again, this is why I love doing these streams because, like, there's people in the chat who have got more knowledge about other things and certain other things. And together we've all got our own... Well, that's it, we're all sharing. Knowledge. Um, it's, it's just fantastic. Absolutely. And I, I like it when we, we get stuff from chat. You know, like Andy's got quite a bit of experience with these spiders. Andy's just said, look, 25 years and still a novice. Pointing, yeah. pointing case, you know, it's, um, there you go. So, uh, so there you go. So I don't think I'm going to, it's ticking on. It's about 10 to 11. I'm not going to, uh, I don't think I'm going to get critic come out again tonight. Because, uh, hey, yo. Hey, yo. Here he is. It's it's Adam. It's Adam himself. How's it going, buddy? All right, Adam. We've been talking about you, man. We've been bigging you up. That's, that's been, what uh, yeah, his ears were burning. Yeah, his ears were burning all the way all the way up there in Scotland, man. His ears were burning. We uh, we've been bigging you up, dude. We were uh, we were telling people about your uh, your YouTube channel. We were talking about tell, getting people to go and look at your uh, netcaster uh, dinopsy. Uh, you know, piss footage, and uh, we've been we've been sending people your way, my friend, telling everybody how awesome your stuff is and um, how amazing your YouTube channel is, and um, yep. and, how, and uh, more specifically, obviously, because tonight's about the net casting spiders. We've um, we've we've sent people your way to look at um, to look at your footage, man. Of um, it's um, actually didn't uh, didn't didn't Adam get his footage in um, in a in a video in a in a in a documentary video or something. I can't quite remember what it was now. Um, yeah, I think sure it did. Video. I'm sure Adam's video got, got, got used in a, in a, in a, I, I can't remember now. Adam will have to tell us. Adam will have to tell us all about it. So, uh, so there you go. But yes, there we go. Adam's in the house. We love Adam. There you go. Frank won. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. There you go. So, uh, so yeah, Adam's uh, some of Adam's footage was used in uh, in, a, in a very popular uh, video. So uh, there you go, absolutely fantastic. Celebrity status now. Celebrity status, but um, you know, he's a celebrity in his own right, man. You know, it's all right. Oh, he, isn't he? he is the one of the. You, uh, you can't think about Scotland without thinking about Adam. <laughs> Honestly. You can't, you can't. And look, when I was in Scotland just the other week, I even tagged, I even tagged um, Denise. And that, and that comes from somebody that half his family is in Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Exactly. So uh, we're all, we've all got a bit of Scottish in us, aren't we? Anyway, you know, we've all, we're all a bit Scottish. <laughs> oh, there yeah. you go, Adam. You're too, you're too modest, my friend. You're too modest. Is um, honestly, Adam's YouTube channel is absolutely fantastic because there's a whole range of stuff talks about all sorts not only is his knowledge extensive knowledge of invert husbandry and and, and, and all things invert inverts on show for everyone to see and learn from uh, but he's also uh, he's also a mr entertainment as well gives us all a good laugh that's why everyone loves adam man. you get you get invert footage all, oh, it's always from the heart so there you go all wrapped in a musical <laughs> Adam, you've just, Adam, you've just ruined it. Of you greatness. Know, we don't we all love a bit of Scottishness. Yeah, you know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> I've got so many jokes, but I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't because uh, it's uh, Denise, will, Denise will not approve. <laughs> Greg's going. Catch you later, Greg. Oh. Greg's off. See you later, Greg. Greg's another leg end as well. We uh, we always have a we always big Greg up because he's fantastic. Kind of he does. He's an inspiration, is Greg. He's an inspiration to us all. We'll uh, we're definitely going to have Greg on at some point, and uh, he has he has said he's going to come on when he's good and ready, and uh, we're going to get him on. I think we're going to get Greg on when I uh, maybe soon, very very soon actually. I'll speak to you soon, Greg, because I'm going to be doing a scorpion thing soon. So uh, maybe even. Uh, Next week, I'll uh, you, so I might I might have you on, my friend. Yeah, um, here. 
<laughs> Absolutely, uh, Steph. You know what? My mum, my my mum is. Um, trust me, man. She's got she's got thicker she's got thicker hide than a hippo, man. Let me tell you. She uh, she'll banter. She she she'll put us all to shame. Let me tell you. <laughs> banter I'm, with the best of them. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to go any further than that because um, she might be watching, but she'll be first to admit she, uh, yeah, she doesn't suffer fools and she doesn't, um, she don't mind, she doesn't mind the odd rude joke. I'm going to put it very, very mildly like that. <laughs> anyway, that's enough of my one. Um, James, um, basically, um, you don't need to go mental, dude. It's um, anywhere between, anywhere between 18 to 26 was the guideline I read about. Um, so I think um, I think just like standard temperatures, you know, like during the day, anywhere between 22 to 24, 25, you know, it's, um, I, I think it pretty much like teas really, you know, anything around just over room temperature is actually all right for them. They don't need it. It doesn't need to be hot. Even though they're from like Australia and Africa, they can handle it up to like 28, 30 degrees. But I think, from what I've read, they're actually more comfortable um, around the 22 to 25 sort of um, range um, because they come out at night, you know, So uh, and it can get quite cold in some of these regions where they're from. So they're actually used to it being down to like 16, 17 degrees as well. So um, You see with teas, comes- like when you're wanting those higher temperatures, a lot of time it's for a specialist reason for breeding that you're trying to mimic that one condition but like you say for the majority of it as long as you've got like that medium sort of temperature i think so i think you are um i think you're good i think you're good to just keep them just above like room temperature 22 to 24 is probably perfectly fine Um, that's what i'm going to be keeping mine anyway and i remember when i had one a few years back i mean i got it as a juvenile and it grew and it molted about four times with me. And I never once kept it over 25 degrees. It was just like ambient temperature in my bug room was like 23 to 25, depending on how warm it was outside. Um, so, uh, so yeah, anywhere between 20, 21 keep, to 24 is probably perfectly fine, I think. Keep so it um, uh, too warm. It, all it does is it makes it grow faster. It's same with yeah. mantis. Yeah, it, exactly. If you start raising t- yeah. temperatures, it's pretty. I think you know. I mean, we talk about this a lot, and, and uh, I'm not refer. I'm not. I'm not referring to you at the moment, James, because that was a legitimate question. But people do get hung up a lot on temperatures and humidity levels, and um, honestly, it's like Gav was just saying. Unless you're planning something very specific, or you've got a very You've got a very unique, specialised, exotic sort of um, invert that hails that you know that comes from a very, a very niche microclimate. You know what I mean? Then you might need to consider certain specialist sort of um, conditions. But generally, across the board, most spiders, tarantulas, inverts, most inverts in general. Anywhere around that 22 to 24, 25 sort of degree level is, is fine. It's, you know, you don't, you just don't want to, you don't need to worry too much. I think, I think a lot of the time people worry so much about getting temperatures of a certain range or certain level that it causes more problems in the long run than, 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 than anything else really, doesn't it? I think so. Yeah. Um, the, the thing you've got to think about as well, and I don't think enough people actually realise this or think about this, they're inside a greenhouse. Yeah, exactly. That's the bottom line. So yeah. whatever temperature you're thinking it is outside, it's always warmer inside there anyway. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you are creating an artificial microclimate every time you put any kind of invert or any kind of animal. In a, in a in any kind of vivarium or enclosure you are you may as well all the rules of what temperatures and humidity levels are like in their native in their native land where they where they're from you may as well just throw that rule book out of the window because um it's all well and good saying that let's say a tarantula or a, or any kind of spider or invert let's say it hails from um 
a certain a certain region, say in Malaysia. But it might actually, you know, the, the, the general kind of environment might be given a temperature range and humidity range of a certain level. But then when you think about where the live in, it's probably inside a, um, inside a microclimate. So the temperature and humidity level where that, where that invert actually is residing or living out its life is probably com something completely different to what the general environmental fact, uh, environment's like. So, you know, it's, it's, it's tricky, isn't it? Because um, yeah. you, can't, you can't just say, oh, this spider hails from the highlands of, Cam of, um, of Cameroon or wherever, you know. Uh, therefore, the temperature is this, that and the other. But, you know, if that spider lives in a very unique microclimate niche, it might be completely different. Yeah, yeah. Totally. So, you know, it's, it's, it's almost impossible to know. So you just go on the general, on a, on a general kind of um, thought, don't you, really? Of, yeah, like, as long as you're hitting somewhere around there, then then things shouldn't be yeah. a problem. Uh, am I right in thinking you said earlier that they may be available soon? What's that? Jumpers. Oh, yeah, Dawn, yes. Um, I think they might be ready. I actually haven't had a look at them this weekend, but I'll, this week I'll, uh, I'll have a look at them tomorrow. And, um, yes, they should be about ready. I think they're probably about third, maybe fourth in store by now. So they're probably about they're probably about 0.4 centimetres, about three to four millimetres. I don't normally let them go until they're about five millimetres. but um, So I'll have a look at them and I'll let you know. You'll be the first to know, Dawn. You send me a message. Um, you and Ian are top of the list right now. Jeremy is in the he's house. Made, he's made it back from the West Wing. Jer Jeremy's in the house. You've um, what did you uh, did you have the uh, did you have the maid did the maid come and tell you we were like to remind you we were live streaming while you were uh, while you were in the West Wing of your uh, <laughs> of your place. <laughs> So we were we were teasing you a bit earlier, Jeremy. You know how we like to. It's just we love you, man. That's why. Like, I anyway. come to streams. It's relentless. They're always picking on me. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we were we were we were just uh, we were just uh, we were theorising about uh, whether or not you had a uh, an entire wing cordoned off on your estate in the Hertfordshire estate um, of. Um, and whether or not you had uh, your own cinema complex in one of those wings, just specifically for you and uh, for you and your mates, <laughs> and we want to know when we're all invited. <laughs> it's just it's become our joke, and it like the, the chat and, and us. It's <laughs> it's the butler. It's like the, the butler man. actually. <laughs> uh, you see, this is why we do it, Jeremy, because you always join in, man. You you take yeah, it on the chin, just... you join in, and you. Uh, you uh, you accept it with the, and embrace it with the love and, and it's and, always uh, in the best possible with the love and the, with, <laughs> I've got the only Kenny Everett impression. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm showing my age now. <laughs> I can't do it. Like... You can't do it, man. Don't do it. <laughs> Everyone's thinking, who the heck is Kenny Everett? <laughs> what are they talking about? A legend. A legend. <laughs> Uh, right, I think we might wrap things up. It's 11 o'clock. It might be the first time ever that I've managed to wrap up at 11 o'clock when I said I was going to do. And there's still 17 people watching. I feel like I don't want to leave because so many people still tuned in. I'm so excited. But um, anyway, I have to I have to say, Jeremy, you, uh, you didn't miss much in terms of... Uh, we got some nice footage earlier on, like the first macro session. Um, we... Uh, but we've had some real problems trying to uh, trying to get some macro footage of the uh, because of the spiders because as you know they are quite active they uh, and they don't they don't look up <laughs> they only look down so we've only been able to get some macro footage of their um, of their bodies and their, we've, uh, uh, their we've been given some uh, cracking idea though we have been given some ideas um, and. Um, can't work out what this one's doing. I haven't had a wig on for the ages. I wonder if it's molten. Anyway. Anyway, so where's Gab gone? <laughs> yeah, they don't stay still. They uh 
they just uh, they just move around and they only sort of go downwards. <laughs> we've, we've got some ideas, and here's Gav. <laughs> you know what? That's just um, that's just uh, it's it's actually uh, is it wrong that I'm feeling a bit I'm feel I'm, I'm I'm feeling a bit funny. I'm feeling a bit funny watching looking at you in that in that wig, Gav. I don't know. It's not right, is it? Something not right about that. So uh, there you go. It should be pounding. It's not right because you like a wig and I I wear a wig from time to time. So, <laughs> yes, Jeremy, we uh, we were actually talking about this right at the beginning of the stream, or it might have been before we you were in the car when you were dropping me off. Oh, we were in the car earlier. Uh, we were talking about how you uh, you just had your male uh, mature out. So fingers crossed, buddy. Good luck with that, and I hope your female uh, lasts long enough to uh, tell the tale. So, we uh, even talk about Jeremy when we're not actually streaming. I know, I know. It's serious, man. It's, it's serious, it's serious. Man. It's, uh, it's some kind of bromance going on, I think. But uh, there you go. Uh, Adam, I Adam will Goff. be in touch well, with you tomorrow. Um, to resume normal uh, filming. He knows what I mean. We all know when. I'm, I'm good to go. There you go. There you go, Adam. Gav's going to be in touch tomorrow about some filming and stuff. We all know what that's about. And uh, do you know what? I've been... I went and stuff. I've fallen right behind on, on watching those. I'm, I've still not watched the, 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 the latest episode, so I need to go back. A couple of us have, have just had things going on. And, yeah, and, well, you know, so life, the, the latest life. episode's a little bit delayed. Yeah, yeah. But there you go. Um, so anyway, Adam, see you later, dude. Thank you so much for tuning in, my friend. And um, I'll uh, yeah, we'll have to uh, we'll have to have a catch up uh, pretty much pretty soon. But uh, we're going to see Adam at Glasgow, aren't we? We're going to see Adam at Glasgow. Oh yes, we're be there, dude. We are coming to Glasgow. That's why we're going to Glasgow. Uh, we are only going because we want to see you. And uh, me and Gav, are, uh, we may be staying overnight in Glasgow. So uh, if um, if you want to get that spare room uh, sorted out. <laughs> but um i think he lives i think he lives a bit of a trek away from uh away from guys go actually so uh it's not it's not exactly around the corner so uh Ooh. i really will i really will i promise i promise i promise Wait. i'll sort out those photos made a note of it yeah and then gab's gonna uh, i'll sure remind that gab's gonna make sure that i do it because i'm rubbish and i apologize <laughs> but i promise i will sort it out so uh there you go right i think we might wrap things up because um, I've gone over, it's five past 11. Just to say, um, before I say my thank yous, this Aspectans is, it's official. I think it's molten <laughs> right now, as we speak. Um, That's it. I think it's molten. I'm going to see if I can get a critic come out. It, um, it, it, well, it is molten. But the problem is, there's no no doubts about it. <laughs> see, I don't want to touch it because it's basically hanging from a single thread that's attached to the. I, I maybe wouldn't risk it, given how synonymous yeah. they are with the uh, Miss It's very it's it's very precarious. No one breathes. <laughs> Hell. Helen, Helen from Mantis Masters has uh, she's she's e she's messaged me a link to Amazon to get a dental mirror inspection of light. <laughs> uh, Peter, it the, there is a list, not that kind of list, a proper list um, of what's available. Mitch is putting one together. Oh God, I know. It's, it's just one of the million jobs that. He, uh, he has no, to seriously, it. I'm so sorry, guys. I've uh, I've been uh, people have been asking me for this list for about a month now, and uh, I I'm I'm gonna do it tomorrow. I'm gonna I'm gonna sit down. Um, I've got I've got. Um, I'm hoping I'm gonna do it tomorrow. I'm gonna uh, make sure that I uh, get this list done because I need to get it done anyway because I need to know what we're taking to um, to Doncaster next Sunday. Yeah. So uh, there you go. It's somebody leaving us. I think Vanessa is going. Now, Vanessa's going. Thanks so much, Vanessa. Thank you for tuning in. Catch Thank you, later, you. Vanessa. 
Um, Jeremy, year. it's not that kind of list. It's not a list of names. It's not a list of names or anything. Um, it's it's just it's just a very important list. So there you go. Peter's in the house. How long's Peter been in? Did I not say hello to Peter? Yeah, Peter's been here since the beginning. <laughs> See, I just feel I feel like I have I feel like I haven't seen him in the chat. So, uh, but anyway, I've been busy. I've been busy doing stuff. Anyway, listen. It's official. This expectant is molting right in front of my eyes. I really wish I could show it you, but I don't. I don't get the camera out and everything. It's not worth it, is it? Mainly because um, I um, I don't want to. I don't want to nudge the table because it's it's basically hanging from a single thread, which is attached to the uh, to the bung, and it's just. It looks like it's just a single a single silk thread. That it's attached to and it's it's got like both it's like both it's front all it's four front legs are like basically how up like that i mean it's coming out it's coming out i really wish i could i mean this is just like gold footage that's happening right in front of me and i can't film it I'm did you good did you see that one of andy's that so, no it, it, it mismolted but it, it, its legs it's like killed Upwards, it looked pretty cool. Oh yeah, I did see that. I did see and that. Pretty freakish at the same time. I've done it. I've done. I've done what I said I wasn't going to do. Because I can't help myself. <laughs> it's like when you see a tea melting all of a sudden, and you like break your back to like get to right angle with camera so that you don't nudge anything that's pretty cool that then and um, we were on about a similar thing with the like mantis that had mismolted, and although he were a little bit misshapen, his legs and his mobility for going up and down his enclosure it was just insane. But put a piece of prey in front of it, and he had trouble coordinating his raptors to get it. It just shows how adaptable these tiny inverts are yeah sorry just uh there it is look yeah there it is it's happening right in front of our eyes guys <laughs> yeah i've had that a couple of times peter I bet you've had that with breeding, haven't you, with Mantis? Where you've set camera story? up and they've just like done nothing. All the time. <laughs> All the time. But I've, I've had some, I've had, I've took some cracking photos this week. I said to you earlier, I've bred four different species of Mantis this week, been on the right roll. Well, it's coming out. It's getting out. There we go, guys. I mean, I could. I wish I had better light, but I don't. I don't mess about too much. Like a snake. <laughs> no, 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 snakes here. So much for finishing at eleven o'clock. You could blame this one. I don't know if you're still watching Jenny, but um, check it out. Molting right in front of our eyes. It literally waited until like, it got out of the tissue and had an appropriate environment before it molted. It's been like that moment when you, you've been on a long car journey and you get out of the car. And you're just like... Yeah, 
Exactly. <laughs> he's been in transport, now he's gone out. Are you keeping Dawn from walking the dogs? Oh, uh, poor dogs. You can see it's. Um... You can see where it's rest of its legs coming down through malt. Yeah, yeah, where it's dark, just above. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's always great to see, you know, even if you yeah. know that the, the quality is not brilliant, you're yeah. still watching something absolutely incredible in front of you. Well, I don't know if Jeremy's still around, but um, he definitely tuned in for the best bet. It's coming out nicely. Done. Well done. Yay. I thought one at a time were going to come out then. I didn't, didn't like just all of it. So it's just, it's just pulled the thread. To, you know, it's silk that it's, can you see the silk attached to its abdomen there though? Right at the top. Yeah. When you move it slightly, it, it picks up like a, a gray line. Yeah, there, so it's pulled that thread all the way through its malt. You know, it's attached to the, it's attached to the bung at the top, and then that single thread it's pulled all the way through the malt while it's malted out, so it can hang. That's some evolution, is that? It's amazing, isn't it? Because there's the malt, and the. Uh, That's what thread. mantis need. The thread has been attached all the way up. And it's pulled that thread all the way through. That's nuts. Fantastic. Well, so much for finishing at 11. Definitely worth staying up for. Awesome. Yeah, just read Steph's comment, full on rebel. Thinks he's finishing this stream on time, I'll show him. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Just typical one. Just typical. There I was thinking I was gonna finish at eleven. Looks like that thing from Pan's Labyrinth's hand. <laughs> Yeah, let's see if I can just uh, come around this side a little bit. Well, there we go, guys. We saw it here. I know the footage wasn't brill, but obviously uh, it was the best I could do under the circumstances. But at least we got to see it. So there we go. I've got it, it's um, it's obviously going to sit there for uh, doing nothing now for quite a while. So I think we'll, we'll call get it. The, the odd... Yeah, it might it might like move it's its legs a little bit. Yeah, it'll move its legs around a little bit just to just to make sure the uh, you know that they're, they're moving properly and keep their shape properly. We've just had someone in. Jaden did it. Did it. Jaden did it. I knew oh. it was you. Ordered a mystery box. Yeah, I think I was speaking to. Uh, I think I was speaking to Jaden. Was I? You know, I was speaking to Jaden. Have I spoken to you? Because I've spoken to quite a few people recently about mystery boxes. Um, maybe. But anyway, hi Jaden. Welcome. We are actually nearly just about to finish. So unfortunately. 
you've missed it. But uh, we have literally just witnessed this spider malt, which has been an absolute treat. That's what. That's the only reason we're still here. But welcome, Jaden. Thank you so much. Yeah, on Facebook. I knew. I thought it was you I was speaking to before. Um, so it's uh, worth welcome. going back and looking. You what do? I said it's worth going back and looking. Yeah, absolutely. With um, with some um, some nice great shots. Some, yeah. Yeah, if you get time, just go back and uh, look at a few bits and pieces. Uh, we've had some good chats about spiders and all sorts of things. So uh, we're definitely going to come back and revisit these, absolutely. Um, go on then, quickly, Jaden. Go on, mate. Right, I'm going to leave that there so I can, uh, so I can focus on Jaden. Right, there you go. I can't believe we captured that. Let me just remove Critic Cam. Let me just do that. The White Mantis you got. Oh, White Mantis. Did I send you a White Mantis? <laughs> I don't have any White Mantis. Are you sure you got it from me? <laughs> uh, the White Mantis. Do you know the species? Because I can't think I can't think what species that was. I actually only have Sinomantis, which are white, and I'm not giving those out. <laughs> they are definitely not going out in, in the in the any... Yeah, I know. Would I'm it be uh, Deroplatis? Uh, there's a really light grey one, isn't there? Um, do you know the species at all, Jaden? Because I can't, I'll be honest, mate, I can't, I'm having trouble thinking what species that is. Oh, it's got spikes. It, it's a spiny. Oh, spiny flower. Oh, right, maybe it, um... Is that a spiny flower, Mantis? It's got spikes on its bag. I'm, I'm back so confused, fully white. white. The, the only one that's going to have spikes is the spiny flower mantis, but um, I don't think I've been giving spiny flower mantids out in mystery boxes recently, so... Uh, oh, maybe... Oh, devil's flower. Nice one. Oh, it's a... Uh, did I get... Did I send you a... Uh, was it a uh, intermediate... Um, experience box if it was it'll be the devil's flower i think it'll be the it'll i think it's the devil i think it's the devil's flower mantis or the thistle mantis either way um it's one or the other <laughs> it could be either because um they're both quite i think it might be the devil's flower mantis peter's right because um that's the only one i can think of that's like a, almost white like a whitey beige color Cause it's like they're, they're about third or fourth in star now so they're quite um they're quite bait they're really quite bait so yeah it'll be a it'll be a devil the only reason i couldn't think of what it was is because i was um i don't normally send devil flower mantids in uh, in mystery boxes unless people pay for like a more expensive or advanced mystery box um so uh, so yeah i think it'll be the idolomantis uh, diabolica the uh, devil's flower mantis uh jaden and um if that's the case um, you mainly want to be feeding it either um, flies. It'll be eating uh, green bottles or house flies by now, um, and or also uh, red runner roaches. They basically prefer flying prey. I generally only feed them on flies, but they will eat roaches as well. But generally, they will only eat really fast-moving prey like um, red runner or Turkish fan roaches. So, that's uh, usually why it'd be biting you in it if it's yeah hungry. it's probably yeah uh, but i don't think it'll be it won't be trying to bite you are you sure are you saying when he's saying it's trying to bite you do you mean that when you put it on your hand is it just like um is it just like kind of going down and looks like it's nibbling on your skin because if that's what it's doing it's not trying to bite you what it's doing is it's um it can sense the um it can detect the uh the moisture with the salts and the and in your um on your in your skin on your um coming out of your sweat pores yeah man is love a good salt lick yeah the, the sweat the sweat on your um on your skin 
the, the mantis can detect it, and what they sense is they can sense the salts uh, in the in the fluid on your on your skin, and that's what they're trying to get at. It's probably just a sign that your mantis probably needs a little bit of a drink, um, and um, so uh, it's it's Good definitely not trying to bite you. That's probably all it's doing. So uh, so yeah, I thought they usually just went like that. <laughs> it pounces on you. It's like <laughs> open the tub and it goes like ah. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, Jaden. Come here, Jaden. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's one for Kaylee, is that? I, I, deliberate, I deliberately sent you a uh, a crazy wild eyed mantis that just wants to get you, man. <laughs> it's got rabies. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, that's cool, man. That's cool. Anyway, I'm glad uh, I'm, it's, obviously, uh, it's obviously feeling good about itself. So, uh, so that's good. <laughs> no, I'm glad you. I'm glad you're doing all right with those dudes. So uh, fantastic. Um, right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up because yet again it's nearly half past eleven and I've gone over, and uh, I've got to get up early in the morning. I don't have lions at weekend. Yeah, you've got you've got dad duties tomorrow. I've got I've got, I've got duties to do with Arthur. We, he's out. He's out of school. That activities that he does is rebound therapy and his music therapy. I'm doing all that with Arthur tomorrow morning, so that's going to be really good. I'm excited about that, so uh, so that'll be good. Um, so, right, it just leaves me to say thank you. Thank you so much to everyone. We've had we've had really good numbers in tonight, I think, haven't we, do? It's, uh We had nearly up to 30 at one stage, I think. It's, yeah, yeah. It's been really good. So, so thank you so much for um, for tuning in, everybody, and um, and staying with us. On a, on a Friday, obviously, um, we don't normally do streams on a Friday. It's normally Wednesday and Saturday. The only reason I've done tonight is because um, the missus is out tomorrow night, so I couldn't do it. That's, that's the only reason. Um, but I am planning on being back on Sunday. Sunday, I think I'm going to do another stream. I don't normally do them Sundays, but look out because I think I'm going to do one. So if you fancy coming in again, if you like what you've seen, and uh, if you're new to the channel and you're new to these uh, live streams, please come along. On Sunday, I'm going to be rehousing a whole bunch of new teas that I've got coming in, ready for the shows. So I'm going to be rehousing about five different species of tarantula slings. But also, I've got a surprise rehousing that I'm going to do. And I'm not telling anybody. I've not even told Gab. I'm not telling anybody. Yeah, and I don't even know about it. Um, um, I need to actually open the box and make sure that they're still alive, to be honest. <laughs> so uh, I, uh, but hopefully I'm doing a surprise rehousing and a surprise little surprise thing, and I think we're all going to be blown away by it. At least I hope so. Anyway. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much to everyone. Enjoy what's left of your Friday night. Have a fantastic weekend. I really, really appreciate everyone tuning in. Thank you so much. Thank you to my right hand man, Gav. Say goodbye, Gav. Catch you all later. Catch you all later. So thank you so much to everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Please come and join us on Sunday, and then we'll be back on track on the Wednesday stream again after that. Thank you. Have a great weekend. Thank you, guys. Take care. Bye.